Unfortunately, it is time to take the spindle apart again. This must be the third or fourth video about the old spindle, so it's probably going to bore you out of your mind. Move on if you like, there's certainly something better to watch on the YouTube. This is more of a documentation video to help me remember what I uh, did to the spindle so far. But uh, some people with a bit of a spindle fetish might like it. The lathe has been sitting uh, still ever since I uh, made that ball handle adapter. And I can feel that the uh, spindle isn't as smooth anymore. It's starting to drag again. And um, the uh, build up of this strange brown stuff has also returned. Actually it never really went away but uh, I was using the lathe a lot so I just wiped it off. But uh, after a few days it would come back. It's also forming here on the spindle. It must be the uh, oil I'm using. I can't think of anything else. So I'm going to tear down the spindle, clean everything up and uh, try yet another uh, type of oil. The um, first thing I notice is that the oil uh, it uh, looks weird. It's uh, it's almost turned white, like there's uh, water in there. There's a bit that looks normal. This here turned white. If that is water, where did it come from? Alright, let's get this thing apart. The spindle is starting to rust again, even though I cleaned it up and coated it with grease. I also uh, coated the inside of the pulley. To me this also looks like uh, there might have been water. But where is the uh, water coming from? Hopefully I won't forget uh, to install the belt when, uh, when reassembling. This is the uh, rear of the front bearing and you can see the uh, green copper oxide forming especially in the rear all the way around uh, on the part where the uh, spindle isn't uh, running and if you look down you can see the uh, brown stuff that is uh, coming out of the spindle and that's not a pretty picture the other side of the bearing looks the same uh, green shit where the uh, spindle uh, isn't in contact with the uh, bronze um, no green stuff at the bottom here but that's probably because the uh, spindle is resting there when not turning this here is the uh, rear bearing and it has none of the symptoms that the uh, front bearing has so no green copper oxide no brown stuff oozing out and I don't see any uh, evidence of water here's a closer look at the pulley at this spot the brown stuff keeps coming back and the spot is slowly getting bigger only maybe three weeks ago I thoroughly cleaned this spot I wire brushed the uh, affected areas and I flushed it with some uh, brake cleaner I even uh, pried at those little holes the pulley has been standing here on the workbench for a day and this fluid came out and that's no oil I don't know what it is, but I'm not going to taste it. In the inside of the pulley, there are some uh, cavities in the uh, in the cast iron. And if you keep the pulley in a certain position, a bit of uh, that brown fluid uh, oozes out. 
So it is possible that uh, those cavities were still filled with fluids used by the uh, electroplating factory. I cleaned uh, the pulley four times with uh, turpentine and uh, yeah, tried to burn off all the uh, well stuff that might have been left in there. I'm not sure if I uh, got it all. I hope I did, but uh, as an extra precaution, I'm going to seal off the uh, cavities with a little bit of this uh, polyurethane. Supposedly it's uh, pretty oil resistant. I've reassembled the spindle and now I have to use the lathe for a while in order to find out if uh, cleaning the pulley fixed the problem. Um, I was going to use this uh, ridiculously uh, expensive can of old school uh, motor oil that supposedly uh, doesn't have any additives. But now that it looks like the pulley might uh, be the problem um, I will be switching back to that uh, ISO 46 hydraulic oil that uh, I was using before. Because if I start using the vintage motor oil and uh, the problem is solved, I wouldn't know what solved the problem, the cleaning or the oil. Anyway, I've got a good feeling about uh, the pulley cleaning. We just need to wait a while in order to find out if it actually did help. About three weeks have uh, passed since I found uh, what must be the uh, weirdest spindle problem ever. In that time I've uh, used the lathe a bit and uh, now it is uh, still as smooth as when I uh, reassembled. No drag whatsoever. Also the uh, build up of that brown stuff has uh, totally stopped. So I am convinced that uh, I finally found what caused the uh, spindle problems. And it had nothing to do with the oil I was using. For now I will continue using the uh, ISO 46 hydraulic oil. It is uh, not leaking as much as that ISO uh, 32 uh, stuff. The uh, other cans that I bought may live out their days on my shelves. Now I would never have guessed uh, that the problem was hiding within the uh, cast iron pulley. I'm lucky I didn't uh, reassemble the same day. If only a few drops had come out I would have uh, assumed that I messed up cleaning the bore and uh, continued reassembling. But in the end it's uh, all my own fault since uh, I just had to have the uh, pulley electroplated. Oh, uh, one more thing. In the past three weeks I found out that uh, the spindle starts to drag a bit when turning between centers. It's the uh, pressure from the tailstock that makes the spindle bind. So uh, it looks like this wasn't the last time I uh, disassembled the old spindle. <laughs>